Okay, okay, okay. Where the hell have I been? After over probably three years of weekly YouTube uploads not missing a single week, I have been missing in action for over a month now on YouTube. So I'm going to tell you exactly what has been going on. And truth be told, a lot has been going on with me over this last month. The major thing here has been work. Over the last month or so, I have finally made the transition to being a fully self-employed online coach. This is absolutely huge and I am beyond proud of myself for achieving it. I started online coaching over three years ago at the start of lockdown. And since then, I've been working on making it a viable full-time gig and now it has finally happened. It was never viable until now, but after a lot of hard goddamn work, I've got there. I am now completely self-employed and it feels glorious. What this did mean, however, is that for a period of time, I was literally working two full-time jobs because there was this crossover period where I had my full-time job and I had a workload of a full-time job of an online coach. For those two months, I was working 16 plus hour days, seven days a week, and I was barely able to have time to eat, let alone record a YouTube video. Month one of that was me just not being fully confident about being ready to make that leap yet, so I was holding myself back. And the month two was, I had made the leap, but I then had to work a one month notice period at my full time job. So two months, two jobs. Honestly, without a doubt, the hardest eight week period of my life. But you know what? It was also one of the most valuable. I learned so much about myself. I learned what hard work truly is. I learned what my limits actually are and how much I can actually do. I learned that I am capable of doing some insane stuff if I really want it. That, that humans are incapable of insane stuff if they really want it. And yes, I'm completely blowing smoke up my own ass, but I deserve it in this situation if you saw some of the things I've done in these last few weeks. Aside from that whole big career change, huge life changing thing, there's also been some other stuff going on. One of which I was going through a dieting phase and I definitely didn't plan to be going through a dieting phase during this time of an absolutely crazy work schedule. It was just some terrible timing of circumstances and I was too stubborn to change it. I had the opportunity come up for a photo shoot and I wanted to take that. So I was going through a very aggressive mini cut to get ready in quite short notice for a photo shoot alongside doing all this, which was less than ideal, I'm not gonna lie. I'll put some pictures up on the screen around here if they came out any good. And if there's no pictures up on the screen, well, I'll let you assume what you would like to assume about how that photo shoot went. There definitely was one positive towards dieting whilst being so, so busy, is that I was not thinking about food or hunger at all for that whole period of time because all I was thinking about was getting the work done. The downside was that my energy was considerably lower. I wasn't craving food, I was craving energy. And I've never had that in a diet before. I've craved energy, but I've also craved food, but I've never had that period of time where the diet was so intense, but I was so busy that I couldn't even think about hunger. It was really weird. Furthermore, along with all that, I was setting the foundations for a side business to go alongside everything else that I've mentioned. I'm not gonna discuss the details of this right now because it is very much in its infancy, but just know that I've been working with a business partner to put some things in place, and it's gonna be fucking awesome if and when we pull it off. That added even more workload and stress onto my plate over the last few weeks. What an idiot. And finally, the last thing is that to be honest, I was rethinking my YouTube content a little bit anyway. I was feeling stale with it. The channel wasn't growing. I really do think I just needed some time away from all of it anyway. Now that I'm coming back, there are a few things I want to change with the channel. One, I was often making videos longer than they needed to be just to appease what I'd heard was better for the algorithm. So I was adding in unnecessary clips, I was waffling, I was rambling. I don't wanna do that anymore. I wanna say what needs to be said to give you value and then leave it at that. I don't want to make videos for an algorithm. I don't want to do two minutes of a video for an algorithm. I want to make videos for the viewer, which is you. Because I believe that if the video is good, people will find it and people will watch it and then people will share it. If it's this long drawn out video, yes, it might be seen by a few more people initially, but they're not gonna keep watching more and that's what this is all about. I also want to get back to my food content, but differently this time. As you know, previously I fell in that trap 
of the anabolic lifestyle of food where everything has to be pizza, donuts and desserts. And I kind of discovered halfway through, partway through doing that, that it was super childish. It was giving people a bad relationship with food. It was giving myself a bad relationship with food. It's an incredibly expensive, unnecessary way of eating. So I just completely ditched the nutrition content on my channel as a way to honestly help my own mental health around nutrition. But what I've realized in this time away is that I still love nutrition. And the main thing that I help the majority of my clients with is nutrition. The main thing that people need help with is nutrition and I want to be helping people with that. So yes, I am bringing back my recipe videos, but they are going to be different this time. I'm going to have a much more mature approach on everything. It's going to much more reflect the way that I have been following nutrition and the way that I think that we should be following nutrition. It's going to be recipes of foods that taste absolutely phenomenal. It's going to be interesting and exciting foods, but it's going to be helping you meal prep. It's not going to be pizza and ice cream and donuts. It's going to be foods that are actually realistic to eat and normal to eat for the whole family. It's not going to be a protein fluff that you eat in the cupboard because you're scared of your child finding you and thinking, what the fuck are you doing? So keep an eye out for those recipe videos coming very soon. I've got a few already planned out and they are looking very, very good. So keep an eye out for those. So yeah, that's pretty much where I've been. Every waking second of my life has been spent working 24-7 grinding, baby, 24-7 entrepreneur lifestyle. And it has now come to an end because I've left that full-time job. I am now working right here, full-time for myself, self-employed, and it feels so good. I am so excited for this change. And I'm so excited to get back to having a somewhat normal life and ability to spend time with people. To be honest, I'm not sure if I'm going to be posting YouTube videos every week again. Maybe I'll be posting once every other week. Maybe it'll be once every three weeks. Maybe it'll be three times a week. I want to be posting good shit, not shit for good. But just know videos are coming back. Be patient. Give me feedback because I want it. And Hopefully you're with me on this. Let me know your thoughts on everything in this video in the comment section below and give the video a thumbs up to show me your support. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Keep an eye out for these upcoming videos. Until next one, see you later guys.